This is America's first and only daily talk show for and about the Filipinos. And for us Filipinos, it's very important that we go back to the Philippines every so often, visit friends and family. Now, here's a tip for you. Why not, the next time you go to the Philippines, stop by Taiwan. So we'll do a layover a few days in Taiwan. And guess what? Here on Cabo Bay in L.A., we're giving you a very affordable package. A dress for $10, fancy necklace for 3 and makeup kit for 5 Do these deals still exist? According to Emily Liu, one of LA18's Mandarin reporters, yes it does, in Taiwan. Taiwan is also a shopping paradise. You can't forget it. Because, like, you know, see this one-piece dress. It's very beautiful and it's cheap. It's just spend you like $10, including the tax. And the necklace is just like $5 only. Like this kind of dress, bags, shoes, accessories, everything you can imagine, you can spend just a little money to buy it in Taiwan. And for those looking for deals, Travel to Taiwan with LA18 Part 3 not only offers you a time to shop in Taiwan, but also a time to eat, a time for marvel, and even a time for love. First of all, uh, on the way home, why don't you stop over at Taiwan and buy something for your family and relatives to let them know you are doing good in U.S. and you buy some Taiwanese good uh, food or good dress to your friends and relatives. And secondly, uh, Taiwan is so uh, popular in the uh, food, shopping, culture, so everything that Philippine uh, people love uh, is in Taiwan. So, and third, it's also the most important is you travel with Chanel. So you cannot be this, this uh, great opportunity. So join us to Taiwan. After two very successful projects, Taiwan Tourist Bureau and LA18, the largest Asian-American language station in the U.S., teams up anew to offer LA18 viewers a chance to travel to Taiwan with their favorite LA18 anchors. LA team is really honored to work with Taiwan Tourist Bureau because Taiwan is a country that is a hidden gem. You won't realize until you be there. And this time, uh, for three years in a row, we use the celebrities with LA team because we want the celebrity. They're well known and they're trustworthy. They have their authority. Uh, they have their uh, reputation in the community. Teaching the uh, ethnic groups people as to where to look for job, where to look for um, good things. So in that same regards, we want them as a seas to bring the viewers, the audience to Taiwan, and they can share the beauty of Taiwan. Each ethnic community will be led by specific LA-18 anchors. There will be tours by the Mandarin Chinese, Korean, Vietnamese, and Filipino groups. Jane Stark of Travel International, who's been a part of this project from its inception, is also on board for the third time. My favorite pro work with LA18, they are the one and only. I, I'm very focused for uh, Filipino community, and especially for Janelle. She is the one and only, uh, you know, Filipino uh, Kababaya LA host the show in Southern California. So it's really big explosion to the Philippines, and let Filipino knows feel more connected, still even away from their foreign, from the from their motherland, but they still feel very connected with their heritage, with their you know, um, home. For the first second part, we did cover for the uh, big major scene, the must see in Taiwan. The third one, I want to make a more travel depth and to connect it to the township, which we uh, like for Taiwan, it's really for reputation for the tea empire's place. So we cover for tea plantation. I introduced the traditional way how they enjoy the tea supposed to be. It's just not like you go to the coffee shop, drink a coffee, but in Chinese they have a very traditional way how to drink the tea. You have to travel with me, I show you how. It's really fun and also I uh, set up for the uh, private culinary tour. We want to people to learn some culture mix. So next time future when they join the 
party, they can show off their skill, culinary skill. Hey, this is the Chinese food I learned from Taiwan. I bring something back. Memory will never fade. The Filipino group is leaving on April 1st.